What's up guys, Eric, I'm back out here with the uh, Creighton 8S in the short wheelbase form, uh, the Crusher chassis from my uh, M2C Racing. Uh, again, it completely transforms the truck. It's a whole different driving style and feel, and um, it's just uh, pretty fun to say the least. Uh, again, I've got uh, the motor uh, last time, you know, my run got cut really short because my uh, Hobby Star blew up. So now I've got the Hobby Wing uh, 5687 in here. So we'll see how that goes on a 27 tooth pinion. Um, I, I do plan on gearing up. I just, that's just all I had at the moment. So uh, I'm gonna have to get a, a 29 and a, probably a 30 on order so we can just uh, see how that goes. And I do now have the um, the, the M2C uh, ESC plate installed. You can't really see it, but but it's an amazing uh, a piece of art and uh, definitely holds the ESC on, on snug. You know, it's got the bolts on it so you can uh, bolt the uh, ESC to the plate and the plate uh, mounts straight down to the, to the box. So it's definitely not gonna go anywhere. So huge shout out to uh, Mitch uh, for that too. So, all right, let's give this baby a run, see how it goes. was rough. Let's go ahead and send this thing and see what happens. Woo! That's a pretty good launch. Whoop, <laughs> that killed the power. <laughs> That's on up there, guys, for a 30 pound truck. Woo! <laughs> That's crazy. That sucker is slapping the ground out there. Woo, that was close. <laughs> guys I'm out here at this uh, construction site uh, for another little run I do want to uh, point out that I did um, add some droop screws uh, you probably can't even see them in here uh, there's holes in the a-arms already for, for droop screws there's, there's two holes that are set for like a three millimeter uh, a screw so what I did is I just used a uh, three millimeter button screws on uh, all four corners and just added uh, some droop screws in so that way the uh, shocks don't overextend you know you don't get like too much uh, too much down travel because uh, when you know when you land under uh, you know big air landings it puts a lot of pressure on these shafts because the shafts are fully extended and uh you know that the oil can't uh, get through the uh, pistons fast enough so it uh, definitely helps so we'll give it a run see what's up oh, wild animal
That was close. See if she'll uh, do a little whirly whirl. Because there's big time rocks out here. Just nailed another one. Oh, that was LVC. <laughs> All right, guys, that was LVC. Uh, this thing is a complete animal. I uh, love this uh, short wheelbase crusher uh, series chassis from M2C. Uh, so big shout out to uh, Mitch from, you know, for uh, you know coming up with this new exciting little uh, platform here. Uh, this thing's definitely uh, taking a mud bath. <laughs> it's gonna have to have a serious cleaning. I mean, my shoes are just caked in mud. It's, 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 we've had so much rain here lately, but um, I don't see any breaks on this thing. Uh, the shock, the shock shafts are are remaining a lot straighter since I did the droop screws. Oh yeah, and that definitely helps. Uh, even sending off the off the big ramp. I didn't really have any issues. I slightly bent one and that was it So the droop screws I uh, definitely help um, uh, Just a heads up we do uh, we are in uh, testing uh, with with some uh, shock pistons uh, here soon and uh, and also uh, shock shafts uh, from M2C so I uh, Can't wait to give that a go and uh, looks like I lost a screw in my wing here <laughs> All these rolls and stuff and he's hitting these rocks all right, guys, it was a blast. Uh, we'll get out again soon with a huge shout out to M2C again and uh, Arma for the awesome, awesome truck and, uh, and a killer platform. And we'll see you guys next time. RCG Data 1. Peace out. <laughs>